today we are making one of these things. I have my reasons, okay? All right, boys, let's get a first one. <laughs> FPS mode, baby. But uh, FPS mode would be incomplete without sick ass reload animations. I want to be able to remove my camera from a tripod to a chest mount quick and easy while doing a slide cancel animation and knifing my enemies. Where did the camera? This project lives and dies by my ability to replicate this receptacle thingy because it will allow me to just unclip my phone from the tripod and into a chest mount without having to unscrew or fiddle with anything. Strapping it to my chest is somewhat of a trivial task. I could have taken the approach of making a whole separate iPhone holder for the chest mount, but by making my design not specific to my phone, if I ever evolve from being an iPhone YouTuber and get a more professional camera, I will be able to combat reload that camera as well. The clippy mechanism is pretty simple. This sprung lever is attached to a sticky outie. When you slide this plate in, which has a slot on its underside, it pushes the sticky outie down. When you push it in far enough, the sticky outie reaches the slot, at which point the spring causes it to flick back up, locking the plate in place. To release it, just push the lever and... Zoink! The receptacle that I make needs to somewhat precisely match the internal dimensions of this one, but I'm not really too sure how to measure that. And since I'll be 3D printing the whole thing, I don't want to have to print a hundred prototypes before one fits. That's a waste of 3D filament. So my logic is, instead of trying to design this, I first create a 3D model of that and see if I can get it to fit in here. This is way smaller so it'll take way less filament to prototype. Once it fits, I'll be able to use its dimensions to design for this. And it doesn't fit. A problem I've grown accustomed to over the course of my life. <laughs> oh. Okay, so shave down these sides a little bit and boom. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, I started to make this little thing, which I call the trigger. This is the little sticky outy thing that goes into the underside of the plate, and here is the M3 screw hole to attach it to the greater receptacle. This knob is what will hold the one side of the spring in place, and this thumb pad is what you'll push to move the lever, with a little divot taken out for ergonomics. Now for the main receptacle. I basically just created a big block and then subtracted the plate I made earlier from the inside to get the internal dimensions. I forgot to account for the fact that when a 3D printer lays down filament, it expands a bit. The filament, that is. So holes tend to come out a bit smaller than you want them. My lab sensei told me to add an additional 0.2 millimeters to account for this. So I widened the opening and reprinted. I don't want to have to print a hundred prototypes before one fits. <sighs> Too narrow on the sides now. Alrighty, so while that's 3D printing, let's design the chest mounting plate. The receptacle will fit in right here with a wing nut that will allow me to adjust the angle of the camera. These slots along the side are to allow me to run straps through them, which right now are coming from my rock climbing chalk bag. This little ring on the top side involves disassembling my student card. It's a temporary solution. Now, what's left is to assemble everything and see how it works. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think I achieved my goal of quick and easy transition between tripod and chest mount. Now it's time to use this thing for what it was intended for. Step bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And the great thing about this is, 
I can just be doing my engineering thing, you know, working away. And then when I need both my hands, bada bing, I can just drill away. I think this project was a raging success. I think it's gonna unlock a whole new dimension of camera angles. I'm gonna really be able to show you what it's like to be an engineer from a first person perspective. Great success. The one thing I would change is I made this little triangle thing to stop this rotation, but it turned out not to be a really problem. This whole system is quite secure. And all that this really did was when I leaned forward to do something, this would sort of just stab me a little bit. But that might not be an issue if I wore it higher on my chest, which is my actual intention. Once I get more straps to go through here and not this. But yeah, side quest completed, I would say. I know there are people on YouTube building entire Iron Man suits <laughs> and this is not particularly impressive, but I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you enjoyed this side quest. And if you did, subscribe. Do a little likey dance, you know, little notification jingle. <laughs> yeah, and next video we'll probably be back to normal Antarctic hardware construction things. Okay, I'm just gonna act natural, Nicola. They put down a yellow <laughs> tracking dots so they can like know where they are on the paper. Apparently, it's just like invisible yellow ink being used every time you print. Yeah. Thank you.